Hey guys, Dio and Mars here, back at the mat, with another MetaZoo booster box break. Now, this may look familiar to you. We opened up a Cryptonation base set booster box, first edition, on the channel before, but today we are looking at second edition. I realized I was covering this for suspense, and it says right there, too. <laughs> <laughs> so the reveal was kind of ruined, but if you weren't paying close attention... Big reveal, second edition printings. This just came in. It is all the same cards from first edition, so we're looking at more chances for more Mothman and Loveland Frogman and Bigfoot and all of your favorites from Cryptonation base set. With one interesting exception, and we'll get right into it because I don't want this to be super, super long. I'm going to cut into seal. Amazing, as always. We love the amount of effort that gets put into MetaZoo packaging, from the custom wrap to the tamper-proof seal, which is blue for second edition, by the way. I'll give you a close-up on that in a second. I like blue. Hot take. Super controversial opinion. I like the color blue. <laughs> there it is. Second edition, little blue void sticker. Peel it back so you can see. Void. That's so nostalgic. What? Which is weird because it's like a year old. This is the exception I was talking about. Now, this is going to be different. Then the box toppers that were in first edition. The first edition box toppers were hollow auras. These should be hollow terras. And the secret rare is different as well. Instead of red ink, there is a chance, a phenomenally minuscule chance to pull a blue ink. I don't know what the exact odds are, but it is very, very, very low. Yeah, actually, you know what? Before I try the scissors, let me see if these open better. Because the first edition packs... Didn't open super well, but the Nightfall packs opened very smoothly. Yeah, look at that. Smooth like butter. Better packaging this time around. Butter packaging. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> because this is the one thing out of this entire box that's going to be different from when we opened our first edition. And the box topper for today's video is... Beautiful. Look at that. That's actually the. I love ob it. Obviously, besides blue ink, this is the one that I wanted. Very happy about that. Full hollow nighttime. It's going straight in a sleeve. Because she deserves it. That's beautiful. A little tiny ding in the bottom left corner there. But oh well, it's still gorgeous. Let me just press that right in. And put it up top here somewhere. Well, let me give you a closer look. Really pretty. I mean, all of the full hollow uh, terras are gorgeous. But that's definitely one of the ones that I was like, oh, I want that. Alright, second edition. First pack of the box. The Hodag pack. Let's get right into it. Antidote. GG Bird. Necromancy. Old Green Eyes. Dragon's Breath. I actually have the sample version of this card and what's interesting about that is that the sample version is gold and fully holographic i'll have to maybe splice in a video or something like that it's very cool when you look at them side by side light beam transfiguration and a full hollow eternal snowflake followed by lightning storm and flame aura so a full hollow in our first pack
the great thing about second edition is that it's more accessible. Higher, God, these... higher print run. God, these open so nicely. So you're going to get into the hands of more people. More people are going to get to build decks and play the game, which I'm excited to see. Anti-Magic Field. Come, Baru. Oh my god, he's so weird. I love him. I don't think we pulled one of those in our first edition box. I had to buy that secondary, and it was like 20 cents or something. But Sewer Alligator! One. Love him. I have a, a signed Sewer Alligator by the artist Victor Larson. Mimi Hune. Power Up Blue. Another aura effect, full holographic. And then Desert and Flame Aura. Thank you, sweetie. Catnap. I think we only ended up with one of these in our in, in all of our first edition pulls. I think we got one catnap, which is weird because it's just a bronze. It's not that special, but it's kind of special to me because I only got one. Space Penguins. Enfield Monster. Always loved him. Some fun art. Lightning in a Bottle. Really good card competitively. Shock Aura. And another... Full hollow or effect. What are the odds of that? Three in a row. Forest gods, amber. And then a winter terra. And another flame aura. That is three back to back to back holographic or effects. I really do think this is going to improve, like, the second edition printing is going to improve the playability of the game a lot. Our New Year's tournament went over so well. Broom. Gigi Bird. Moon Eyed People. The Skeleton's Lantern. On Field Monster. Love him. That's a friend. Light. Light Beam. Oh my god, I can't speak. Rock Rain. Ouch. Reverse Hollow. Forest Gods Amber. This is, uh. getting kind of strange. That's four. Four effects in a row in the first four packs in the box. Yeah, give me a sleevey. Very odd. Let's get them off, man. We just need some something exciting. Or maybe a full hollow babe or a piazza bird or something. I don't know. I do need a full hollow babe. And a reverse hollow moth, man. Actually, broom, joint snake, white fang, snow snake, precious, gluttony, gross, light beam, transfiguration, and a reverse hollow tizaruk. Which I think I needed. Yeah, actually, we got a full hollow in our first edition box. Ground and Cosmic Aura, which I personally quite enjoy. It's a nice aura. Let's do this. I'll put the reverse hollows over here. And the full hollows over here. So bookmark. Fireball. Fireball. <laughs> Pass trap. Mr. Worldwide. Tripadero. Earthquake. Hug and Molly. I give her a hug. Shock Aura. Ooh. Mermaid Scales. Wallow. Yeah. And then Mountain and Water. You just can't stop pulling aura effects. Which I guess is a good thing. I think these are going to be mechanically unique. I could be wrong about that, but I 
we, we might not ever see cards like this again. They're very interesting, very good. Of course, they're all respective to the different aura types. So for mermaid scales, it's water. You can fatigue this page at any time to generate two water aura. And similarly for forest god Zamber, you get two forest aura, two dark aura for blood ruby, and so on and so forth. So they're good artifacts to have in play because they just continually generate aura. And of course, the more aura you have, the more BCs you can summon, the more spells you can cast. The very good cards, especially the elusive chaos crystal, which can you can fatigue to generate any type of aura. We'll see if we can pull that. Got a reverse hollow in our first edition box, uh, not a full hollow, so that would be very exciting. Bookmark, GG Bird, Paralyze, Sam's Rabbit Foot, Grounding, Hide Behind, Kentucky Hellhound. And a reverse hollow mermaid scales, followed by a lake terra and a frost aura. So, for reference, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs we've opened. Six of them are aura artifacts. Yeah. Getting kind of weird. Exploding mine. Lightning bolt. Matlocks. Triped arrow. Crossroads. With the I, baby. Always, I always really liked this artwork. Icy path. Rock rain. And a manting fire crystal. The seventh. Aura artifact out of eight packs. Something is something is going on with this box. This has this 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 feels too weirdly too scripted to be true random. We've literally gotten one beastie in the rare slot. Everything else so far is aura artifacts, which again could be really good for collectability and playability, for that matter. Good for collectability because they're good for playability. And we want more people playing the game. Like I said, the, the tournament we had on New Year's went super well. We had somewhere in the ballpark of uh, 100 participants on New Year's Day. Chaos Potion. Lake Worth Monster. Wapalusi. Snow Osset. Grounding. Morpheus. It's a good spell. Rock Rain. And finally, a Beastie. A full Hollow Sinkhole Sam. Underrated. I think he's kind of cool. Stars. So, nice looking Terra. And another Frost Aura. Yeah, we, we'll take that. The Sinkhole Sam. NFT is actually the rarest one. There are only 10 of them that were ever minted and ever will be minted. So show some love for Sinkhole Sam. Is this reverse? No, this is full hollow. Yeah, why did you put him on the reverse side? Oh, yep. No, you're right. I don't know why. So full show hollow the man over. some respect. Goes over here. That way you can kind of see how we're doing on this box. Full hollow is on this side, reverse on that side. My glasses went off all off. So bookmark, Gumbrew, Poison Arrow, Sam's Four Leaf Clover. Oh, that's what I'm missing. I was looking at the mat before we started recording, and I was like, oh, something seems to miss here. You're the one my, with my mic. My Michael Waddell signed Sam's Leaf Four Leaf Clover that says good luck on it. I don't have it with me. <laughs> we'll, we'll, okay. we'll put that there in tribute to it. Yep. Yeah, where is it? Squonk! It's put, put away at the moment. Squonk! In reverse hollow forest god's amber. And then nighttime and cosmic. Yeah, I, that does make sense now. Usually in the videos when we open packs like this, I have my Michael Waddell signs. Good luck. Sam's four leaf clover. Uh, 
that surely in the Mothman pack there will be something good, right? Anti-Magic Field. Love that artwork. Gumbaroo. Pass Trap. Sam's EMF Device. Crossroads. Ice Storm. Power Up Blue. And another full hollow forest, God's Amber, an ocean, and dark aura. They said you like crystals. So we haven't seen any of the, uh, what the community affectionately refers to as the Obnoxious Nine. In our first edition box, we made out pretty well with those. We nearly got, got like four of them. Four out of nine in one box was a pretty good luck, I felt. Now we're getting nothing but aura artifacts. God said you've become too powerful. <laughs> Cactus Cat. Lakeworth Monster. Another one of these bad boys. Rump Defusal. I don't even know. Beneath the tree. He speak for the tree? Bark is edible. But yeah. Not, not every tree. Don't go, like, eating trees. But in theory, you can eat pine trees, for example. Yeah, it's only certain pine trees, though. Yeah, this is not medical advice <laughs> or, anything, or anything of that nature. I'm not suggesting you go eat trees. I'm just Please don't eat a tree. Theoretically possible. Spookster. Lately. Okay. I'll take it. It's something different. I think I already have a reverse from first edition. A full hollow would have been nice. We love what we get, though. Flatwoods Monster is one of those beasties that a lot of people seem to really like. It's not one of my personal favorites. She kind of just looks like an alien mom to me. Yeah, pretty much. She just looks like I will protect my children. She'd be moth, man. Baby! A sign, perhaps. Probably not. We're getting nothing but crystals. Gumbaroo. Rump Defusal. Sewer Alligator. Enfield Monster. Morpheus. Power up green. And another reverse hollow forest gods, amber, and then mountain, and lightning aura. I'm getting a little annoyed, not gonna lie. That's four forest gods, ambers. Two of, or, no, five. One, two, three, four, five forest gods, amber. And three of them are reverse. Yes. Just start putting them all together at this point. Like this. Flatwoods, you get to go up here. Oh my god, the sun. Can't nap. Giant salamander. I love him. River dino. It's a friend. Sam's four leaf clover. Book of shadows. Oh my god, the sun. Miracle touch. I can't even read. Retribution with our homeboy. Lizard man of I can't even read. Lizard man of scape or swamp. Oh my god. That can't stop me because I can't read. Okay. The sun is blinding right now. These are the blinding lights that the weekend sang about. Famously, I might add. I think that's like one of the most streamed songs on Spotify. Okay, it's a good song. Don't judge me. I love it. Chaos Potion. Joint Snake. Rump Defusal. Skeletons Lanterns. Fire Trap. Miracle Touch. Rock Rain. And a Reverse Hollow. Bat Squatch. Daytime. And Earth Aura. I'm not sure if I had one of these yet already. I'm not sure. Cat nap. Haste. Reflection. Sliver cat. Fire trap. Block potion. Shock aura. And reverse hollow chupacabra. Okay. 
At least it's another one for the collection. I think I have the full hollow, not the reverse. So if that's true, that's neat. I just think it's neat. Another one for the checklist. Broom. Lava bear. Love him. Water gun. Space penguins. Book of Shadows, Morpheus, Power Up Green, and a second back-to-back -back Reverse Hollow Chupacabra, and Nighttime, and Lightning Aura. Cactus Cat. Frozen people, me right now. Moon eyed people. Strip of that arrow. Fire trap. Lightning in a bottle. Proton beam. And reverse hollow metal man of Alabama. Okay, I think that one might be new too. I think we pulled the full hollow in first edition. So a lot of people complain when they get a bunch of reverse hollows, but like you, you need them for collectability, right? And if you want to fill out your binder, if you want to complete your set, you need the full and the reverse. Sometimes it's just about perspe perspective. Exploding Mine. Lake Worth Monster. Wapalusi. Tripadero, Earthquake, Lightning in a Bottle, Stone Skin, and a Reverse Hollow, Eternal Snowflake, and Nighttime, and Dark Aura. I'm finding it a little bit difficult to find the, the positive perspective on all of these aura effects, but uh, like I said, some, pe some people would be very happy about all these. So, yeah, perspective. Exploding mine. Frozen people. Matlocks. I cannot. Telekinesis. Fire trap. Hide behind. Scattershot. Oh, look, a full. See, I personally prefer to pull a beastie in my rare slot than an aura artifact, but that's entirely preference. There are definitely people who, if they got this box full of aura effects, they'd be over the moon. If we got a full hollow chaos crystal, I'd, I'd be pretty happy about that. Bookmark. Lava Bear. Matlocks. Telekinesis. Black Cat. The visibility, the spookster, and a reverse hollow hodag, and the stars and spirit aura. Cactus cat. Ghost deer. Reflection. Sam's rabbit foot. Cheapy Ketza. Morpheus. Rock green. Okay. I'll t we don't have a reverse hollow Loveland Frogman. Something seems off about this. Doesn't it seem like it's missing a lot of the print color? Like on the nose, and right there on the stomach, and on the legs. See how it's like white? Yeah. Where I feel like it should be green. I'm going to have to compare this to... Yeah, up, up here too. You can see on the orb there's a white spot. I don't know if that's normal or not. I'm going to have to look into that. That could be a... That's my one of my favorite... Really cool error. That's one of my favorite babies. And we did not have a reverse before. We had a full hollow. 
For Certainly him, it's like about. Mothman and Wendigo. For me, it's this. Wolfman Frogman is definitely a fan favorite. I'm just a witch who likes frogs. And again, perspective. Because we already had uh, one or two full hollows. And now having the reverse. It's another, another check on the list. Another slot in the binder. Cactus Cat, Gumbaroo, Pyrokinetic Blast, Shadow People, Fog of War, Menahune, Stone Skin, and Death Beam, which is of course an obnoxious nine, always full holographic, and the Mountain and Lightning Aura, but our first obnoxious nine of the box, Death Beam, pretty sweet. Squatch, Frozen People, Necromancy, Sewer Alligator, Balancing Beam. If we end up with 10 Sewer Alligators, I'm going to make a Sewer Alligator deck, because you can have up to 10 of them. Yeah, he will. This is a lot. Icy Path, Transfiguration. All right. You are um, running out of sleeves. Nah. You have more? Like, they have like 200 more. I didn't know! Exploding Mine. Giant Salamander. Pass Trap. Sam's Rabbit Foot. Book of Shadows. Invisibility. A spookster. And a Reverse Hollow Lightning Glass. And daytime and dark aura. Sorry, I was trying to open those for you. Bunny Man. Fireball. Matlocks. Skeleton's Lantern. Fog of War, Luck Potion, Power Up Blue. There we go. That was the reverse Hollow Mothman that I needed. Very happy about that. And I got City for the boy. You know what? You know who keeps pulling all the good ones? We needed... The Wife! Oh, there's a ton of lightning on that. Aww. That's alright. I'm it's not one I would ever get graded. But yeah, that's horrible up at the top. Huge chunk there, huge chunk there. But it's just for the binder. That's what it's... we needed. We needed a reverse hollow frogman and a reverse hollow mothman. This is just for our... for the happiness. Does this spark joy? Yes. Me, as I say, as I buy another squishmallow. I would like a full hollow uh, chaos crystal, a full hollow babe. There is still some that I need in that regard. Shibby Mothman, Fireball, White Thang, Space Penguins, Fog of War, Hoop Snake, love him. Shock Aura. Yes! Full hollow Love and Frogman. Heck yeah! I love that frog. Yeah, the slow reveal there, because I was like, oh, I see something blue in the rare slot. Wife's very happy right now. I don't sound it, but I am. Broom. Frozen people. Moon-eyed people. Sam's four-leaf clover. Balancing beam. Hug and Molly. Power up green. And reverse hollow chibi Okay, I didn't even know that existed, to be honest. He's beautiful. 
He's a baby. I didn't know that had a reverse hollow. Learned something new today. I don't care. I'm happy with my frogs. Chaos Potion, Ghost Deer, Poison Arrow, Old Green Eyes, Fog of War, Hoop Snake, love him, Salem's Witches, and a Full Hollow, Black Hole Shard, another Aura Effect, and Desert and Flame Aura. Do we have all of the Aura, fa aura Facts just in this box? Or... <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a closer look. If we do, I'm talking to Mike. Five. It's a cactus snake. Cact. GG bird. Pyrokinetic blast. Sam's EMF device. Funeral mountain. Terra shop. Oh my god, that is intense. Nice spell. Salem's witches. <laughs> Well, Get out of here! Again, I didn't even know a reverse for that existed, I don't think. I did. Something about him is just unsettling, and I don't like it. We have at least six of the ore effects. We don't have Chaos Crystal, which again, if we pull a full hollow here, I'll be pretty stoked. Stoked. Catnap. Haste, Reflection, Space Penguins, Funeral Mountain Terra Shot, Hide Behind, Shock Aura, and a Reverse Hollow Space Penguins is kind of cool, an Ocean and Dark Aura. I love them penguins. Yeah, we're getting a lot of interesting Reverse Hollows that we didn't get before, because our first, first edition box was so stacked with full hollows. And we were very, very happy about it. We got, like, all of the hits, almost. You know, we got the full hollow Mothman, the full hollow uh, Frogman. We got so much stuff in that first edition. And now we're getting all the reverses to kind of round out the set. Snow Wasset. Gluttony. Hoop Snake. I really like Hoop Snake. Shakura. And Beast of Busco. Another reverse I'm pretty sure I needed, so not complaining. Amazingly, we're down to the last, I think, four packs. Catnap. Killer Clown. Rumtafusel. Snow Snake, Grounding, Hoop Snake, Salem Switches, and another Death Beam. That's interesting. Island and Light Aura. Anti magic field. Joint snake. River dinos. I love them. Sliver cat. Dragon's breath. Hoop snake. Salem switches. <laughs> Reverse hollow mermaid scales. Go away. You don't need any more of those. I. I mean, maybe we'll make a nice water deck. With, uh, especially with this guy, Mr. Flying Manta Ray, I love him. I was gonna see. And Fluff and Frog Man, yeah, they work really well together. They're friends! Canonically, doesn't he carry him around? Yes. They work very well together in the deck. We've got two Mothman packs to finish off this box. We're looking for a full hollow Chaos Crystal. Full hollow Babe would be nice. Right, bookmark, Haste, Pyrokinetic Blast, Snow Wasset, Fire Trap, Menahune, 
thorn whip. And a ghost train, okay. I'm not upset about that. Pretty cool. Yeah, I love ghost train. Another obnoxious nine, so always fully holographic. And then farm and cosmic aura. Did we pull one the first time around? I don't know. I was like, I don't remember us doing that. We did not. I mean, I do own one, but we didn't pull it in our last box. Yeah, that's what I mean. Choo choo. Choo choo. Scary. I don't like bunny. Joint sneak. Reflection. Sewer Gator. Black Cat. Invisibility. Kentucky Hellhound. And... Look at that, another aura effect. That's seven different or seven different aura effects and, and several repeats. Majority of it was if was auras though, I feel. Five different forest gods, ambers. I ain't disrespecting Ghost Train. Five packs out of 36 were Forest Gods Amber, uh, two Mermaid Scales, two Eternal Snowflakes. Whew. Quite a bit of aura artifacts in that box, but we did get a reverse Hollow Mothman. I needed that, so I'm happy to have okay, them. But, but we consider... did get two Loveland Frogmans. We did get a ghost train. We got two death beams. Makes me happy. I don't know. I'm sorry. A lot of the reverse hollows we got were cards that I needed to round out my binder. So all in all, yeah, pretty decent box. I'm not going to complain about it, that's for sure. Any box that has a Mothman in it, can't be upset about that. That's awesome. Two Loveman Frogmans, that's awesome. And a lot of these aura artifacts, yeah, I'm going to hold on to them. See what happens with them. A lot of people seem to really like them. So that was Cryptonation base set, second edition. Allegedly, there will never be another print of this set. So Get it now. Yeah, go and buy them. We still have them on the MetaZoo Marketplace. At MSRP, I'll drop the link to the shop page down in the description. Our goal for... Second edition is for it to be accessible, so you can still get booster boxes, spell books, theme decks, uh, release event boxes, and blister packs on the MetaZoom Marketplace website right now. Anyway, great box. As always, thank you so much for watching all the way through to the end. If you liked this video, please click like to let us know. It helps us out a lot. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more gaming and TCG related content. I've been Dio with Mythic Multiplayer. Joined by my wife, Mars. You can follow me on my socials, which will be linked down below in the description. And until next time, thank you again so much for watching. We'll see you soon.